Hey good morning guys, my name is Anwar and you are watching Hacks and Geeks. In today's video, I am going to show you how to install Kali NetHunter on your OnePlus 2. For this, you will actually need CM14.1 installed on your Android, that's the OnePlus 2. So if you don't actually know how to do this, check the link in the description. I will link down a video which will show you how to install CM14.1, the official version on your OnePlus 2. Let's begin with this video. Assuming that by now you have flash CM14.1, we can begin with going on to the recovery option by holding down the power button and also the volume down button at the same time. But for now, I'm going on to the settings and scrolling down and I'll hit on the above phone option. Under that, I'll scroll down again and tap on the bill number for 7 times until it says you're in developers. Then I'll go back and I'll find a new settings called as developer options. Under that option, I'll enable the option called as Advanced Reboot or Advanced Restart. And then I'll hold down my power button, then click on Reboot, then again tap on the option that says Recovery, then hit OK. Once you're inside the TWRP, it's recommended to take complete backup of your Android. So if you screw something up, you'll be safe. I actually have a video on that which I'll link down in the description along with all the other files which I'll mention in this video. Then you can click on the install option and navigate to the folder where you have kept the NetHunter CM14.1 file. It's actually under shared folder in my phone. But if you are granted with a screen like this and you don't know what are these folders, just click on the SD card option and then you'll have all the files which you'll recognize from the file manager in your phone. Now I'm going on to the shared folder under that I'm going to go to the files option. There I have an flash file which is called as NetHunter 1 plus 2 cm 40.1 nugget etc etc and I'm going to confirm it's the same file which I want to flash and then I'm going to swipe to confirm the flash and this process is going to take about 5 to 30 minutes so just bear with it until it gets completed Once it's done, you'll be granted with a screen showing two options, wipe, cache slash Dalvik and the other option will be reboot system. So I'm going to click on reboot of system and again this may take some time so just keep your phone aside and wait. Once booted, you'll be prompted with a new boot animation and also with a changed wallpaper. The settings will remain the same though but this time your Android will actually be rooted by Kali Net Now, by checking all the apps installed, you'll have few more apps which are installed by Kali Net along with the Kali Net Hunter app itself. Opening the Net Hunter app, you need to allow few permissions and also grant the Super SD permission. Once done, it will finish installing within a minute. Then I wanted to check out the Net Hunter terminal app, but at this point, I hit an iceberg. No matter what I did, the app kept closing, and this happened. Because I was an idiot who didn't actually read the XDA developer's page where it was clearly stated there were problems with that and I actually needed to reinstall the app with an updated version. So I did that. I went to the XDA developer's page, downloaded the latest version, copied it to my phone, uninstalled the previous version, then reinstalled the new version, then it I was good to go. So I even tested the commands to make sure it was working perfectly fine and yes it was working perfectly fine. So that it is. We have completely installed Kali Net Hunter by solving all the other bugs. Still if you think there is a boot lag and if you are facing any problems make sure to read the XDA developers page completely and you'll be good to go. Thank you for watching the video guys. I hope you liked the video. If you did. A like rating would be awesome. If you have any doubts, comment down below. I'll make sure I'll reply to you as soon as possible. And subscribe to our YouTube channel and you can turn on the notification if you want to get updated for the for every videos we upload. Thank you once again. Goodbye.